Hi, I'm Jeff Hemmel from Boating Magazine. Now today I'm aboard Bennington's 24 RTFB. Now this continues to be one of the most unique pontoons in the market for one reason, and that's the recessed bow cockpit I'm sitting in right now. Now, why would you want to recess a bow cockpit? The captain's visibility is one. With the passenger sunk below view, the captain has a better view forward. Now that's good when getting up onto plane, when coming into the dock. Bennington also enhances that by tapering these side rails. It gets it further out of the captain's view. Now that's great when trying to spot the dock or coming into a beach. Another way Bennington enhances visibility is through these viewports on each side. Now basically they've not brought the fence panels all the way to the top rail. Now that acts as a grab handle, but it also allows the captain unrestricted viewing to each side of the boat. As to how Bennington accomplished this feat, it's all in the center pontoon. Now unlike a traditional round pontoon, this one is more boxy shaped and it's got a V-like hull at the bottom. It allows them to drop the floor of this cockpit into that center tube to create more space. That V-hull like center tube also affects the boat's performance. The 24 RTFB handles with the agility of a fiberglass bow rider, carving into corners with precision. The center tube also gives the craft a lower center of gravity. That massive center pontoon also enables the boat to have twin ski lockers. Use one to store items like the cover and support poles, use the other to store wet items like skis and wakeboards. One challenge of this layout is that the bow seats are essentially on what is the floor. So Bennington had an interesting problem with storage. They solved it with these side pocket seat storage. You can put wallets, phones, pocketbooks, towels, anything you need to into the spot. Our test boat was equipped with Bennington's quad bench layout. In the bow, these seats include Bennington's familiar lumbar pocket, which adds width for passengers, as well as a great nook to store phones and other gear. Speakers are located within these pockets to keep them higher for better sound. You'll also find power outlets for charging your phones. Also note the unique headrests, port and starboard. They extend outward, giving the passengers better comfort. A unique option is the fiberglass port console. Now it features a solid surface countertop, but the nice thing about it is it's a place where you can access storage without requiring passengers to get up and out of their seats. The helm has a decidedly upscale feel. Now start that with Bennington's Zebrawood Slate wood grain accents. Our test boat was outfitted with an optional Garmin Striker 4 GPS fish finder. You can also add seven inch displays from Simrad or Garmin. The stereo is a Rockford Fosgate PMX2 with Bluetooth and Pandora. A tilt wheel is standard. On our test boat, we had the upgraded Corvino wheel with a real leather wrap. To the right, a glove box has access to audio, USB, and 12 volt ports. Turning to the stern, you'll find the last two of Bennington's quad bench layout. In the rotor molded bases below, you'll find plenty of storage, as well as gutters and drains to keep things dry. You'll also have plenty of ventilation. A powered bimini top is standard. Our test boat was equipped with this attractive cladded arch that lowers at the touch of a button. There's a stainless steel gate leading to the aft platform. There's a four-step telescoping stainless steel ladder to starboard. For those that enjoy music while at the beach or coving, there's a pair of kicker speakers on the back. Now they're upgraded to Bennington specs for better volume. New for 2021 is a choice of either smooth or crimped fence panels and even more color options. The recessed bow cockpit and the increased forward visibility it provides may be the defining feature of the Bennington 24 RTFB, but don't overlook the appeal of the quad lounge seating arrangement, as well as the V-shaped center tube that provides excellent handling. For Boating Magazine, I'm Jeff Hemmel.